To begin solving this question, we first need to convert our calculator into the radian mode. Now, according to Ohm's law, we know that the voltage divided by the resistance is equal to the current. Now, for alternating currents, we know that the current is equal to the maximum voltage times the sine of omega t divided by the resistance. Now, we're going to analyze the numerator here, specifically the sine omega t portion. Now, the graph of sine omega t looks like this. Now, the question stated that the current equals 60 percent of the peak current at 7 milliseconds. So if we put that on the graph, we know that the peak will either be 1 or negative 1, and 60 percent is probably right around this range. This is just estimations. This may or may not be correct. Now, recall that the values for sine omega t can either be negative 1 or 1. So it can be between these values right here. So what that allows us to do is set up a relationship where we can say that the percentage is equal to sine omega t. Now omega t is also 2 pi f. So 2 pi times the frequency. Now if we go ahead and take the inverse sine on both sides, we can get that the arc sine of the percentage is equal to 2 pi f times t. Now if we rearrange and solve for the frequency, we get that the inverse sine times the percentage divided by 2 pi times the time. Now once again, we're going to be using the radian mode of our calculator. So if you're not using radian, you'll get a totally different answer. So once we plug in the values here, we'll get a frequency of 14. 14.6 hertz.